All right, I've had a few people, actually a bunch of people, asking me exactly how I wired in my M18 battery mount. Now, this is not the M18 uh, power source. This takes straight battery power, 18 to 20 volts, and sends it to this. It's not any kind of a power reducer or anything. Just a mount to clip the battery into. So I'm going to try to show you how to do this. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, this only works if you bought the all-weather bag for the Garmin setup because if that, when you do that, it comes with this breakout connector. And I'll, I'll try to get in there and show you that, but I'm not going to dismantle this whole thing to do it. So, to start out, if you buy the actual mount, I just put a piece of wood in here. It mounts right into the hole where the battery went. Now what I do is I came through here and I took and I put a plug on this that goes, you can see it there, sorry guys, son. Um, this is the regular charging port that'll come in the breakout connector that comes with the all-weather bag. So when you, when you buy this, I didn't cut any wires, I didn't modify any wires, I didn't take and put three fuses in line, nothing else. It's just exactly how they get it. The only thing I, different I did was I took this mount and I wired it here with some butt connectors to a, the sun is horrible. I wired it right to a two pin connector here. Now this connector, this side of it was already on the harness that they give you. Okay, so try to run this down a little bit and see if I can get in here and show you. Right in here is the breakout that they give you, okay? This piece right here, <clears throat> what it does is it has one end of it that goes down and plugs right into the back of this. The other piece comes out and it has these connectors on it right here. Now these connectors are what take power and you, these two wires here come right from your the live scope box, which is the black box. So that's these two big wires. They go right into the push connectors. So that feeds power from the breakout to the live scope box. Okay. Now that is a fuse in line with it too. It's just the way it all comes. Also, out of that breakout connector, that harness that, that comes with. So that goes from here into this to the breakout connector, and then from that breakout, sends power to this, sends power here to go to the live scope box. It has these connectors that would have gone to your regular regular battery if you wanted it to. I didn't cut them off because you never know, no reason to. And then it also has this connector here already on the harness that I kept on there. And then I just bought this pigtail and I wired this pigtail right to this block so it feeds power in. Now, when I take this whole rig out on my boat, I just unplug this piece from the battery, I leave it right in here, and I have another pigtail just like this that comes from my boat that I plug right in. Then it just runs power from my boat right to it. So, to break it all down, if for some reason you don't buy this bag, say you want to go with a clam bag or a kitty litter box or some other crazy idea, what you're going to want to do, all that this is all that matters in the whole scheme of things. The power from the live scope, the power from your, the actual power wire that comes here. They give you like a longer one with a built-in fuse and all that stuff. Just use all the stuff they give you. It's going to have, I think, four wires in it, two smaller ones and a red and a black. Only use the red and the black. Don't use the other ones. Um, so the red and the black and then the red and the black from your live scope box. Those get tied together. And then really all you need to do is tie it to a, oh, uh, one of these plugs and one of these plugs, and then you can easily attach it to this. If you don't want to do the plug setup, that's fine too. Just attach your same red and blacks, just like they were, to the red and blacks from your live scope box and the red and blacks from the power cable that goes to the echo map. That's all you need. Uh, like I said, I just had the, the cables in the breakout connector that they give you, which is very nice. Um, so I used it. Didn't cut anything, didn't add anything. It's just everything you need here. The only thing I added separately was this mount and that half of the connector to connect up to what Garmin already supplies you with. So hopefully that helps you out. The reason really why I left these is because you never know, maybe I go to a different battery setup, 
Um, there's really no reason to cut them off. All of this stuff just wraps up and it stows right into the side pocket inside there. So it doesn't affect me in any way. I just leave it all on there. I don't want to have to put some kind of caps on them. They're probably more shrouded here like they are than if I were to cut them. So that's that. Hopefully that clears up some confusion for if people actually want to do it that way. Uh, like I said, if you don't want to buy the whole bag and spend the money, I thought it was a good idea. See, I do use this transducer sometimes if I'm, you know, sometimes setting tip-ups and you want to know exactly what's underneath you. So if you have weeds there, um, you know, sometimes with the live scope, if you're trying to get something that's right underneath you and you don't necessarily know you're, you're rotating it and it looks like, you know, you're, you're really close to it's the weed line, but you don't necessarily know if you're just outside of it or just over the edge of it. So when I'm setting tip ups, I don't want that minnow to go into the weeds. I'll use this and then I'll be able to get uh, a little bit more accurate um, there or sometimes you know the live scope if you're in deeper water you don't necessarily get the target separation if you're trying to jig you know we're talking real minute um, amounts you can throw this down in there too and then just double check and verify what you have going on maybe it's going to be uh, a little bit better target separation in deeper water with the zoom feature so for me the bag and that and then I don't even use the battery but I got a battery now for something else if I want to use it for something different uh, so it was kind of, it, it worked out for me. So that's what I have going on. If you have any questions, just uh, comment away and I'll see what I can uh, answer for you.